A major risk factor for food businesses that serve products containing allergens is the management of cross-contamination. Even with detailed and accurate labelling of ingredients when making pre-packaged products for direct sale, without the appropriate cross-contamination procedures in place, there is still a potential risk to the consumer if they suffer from an allergy. This video is going to explain how you can manage cross-contamination within your business. If you have any ingredients in your business that contain any of the 14 major allergens, then there is always the risk of cross-contamination. In order to minimize this risk, steps should be taken to make sure that allergenic ingredients are stored in such a way that they are clearly labeled and will not pose a risk of contamination to other non-allergenic ingredients, such as using secure lids on containers that have no cracks. Consumers who suffer from allergies can have a reaction after coming into contact with a very small amount of the allergen. Because of this, it is vitally important that any containers used to contain a particular allergen are never used for any other ingredients, as even after a thorough cleaning, some particles may remain. If you are unsure as to whether or not any of the ingredients you use contain an allergen, you can use Eridus to check the product specification, or contact your wholesaler for a product specification for the ingredient you have purchased, which will have all the necessary information. When declaring whether a product you produce is allergen free, it is important to consider the equipment that is being used to make that product. Knives, pans, chopping boards, measuring spoons, anything that has ever come into contact with an allergen can always pose a risk of cross-contamination. Even if the equipment hasn't been in contact with allergens, it is important to note the proximity to allergenic ingredients because airborne contamination can occur from substances like nut dust or milk powder in the air. If preparing food that is being advertised as allergen free, you will need to use dedicated allergen free equipment in a designated area away from general food preparation. Dedicated allergen free equipment needs to be stored and cleaned separately from the rest of your kitchen equipment to avoid contact with equipment that may have allergen particles on them. You should also have dedicated cleaning materials like sponges and towels that are only used for the allergen-free equipment so that there is no transfer of allergens when cleaning and drying. It's quite common now to see the addition of a purple chopping board to the other colour-coded ones for use in the preparation of nut-free or allergen-free food. If your preparation area doesn't allow for a separate station for allergen-free food preparation, then a declaration will need to be made on the menu for made-to-order items or on the label for pre-packaged items that the product may contain any of the allergens that are used in your food preparation area, even if they are not present in the finished product. So, we've discussed the importance of procedures to prevent cross-contamination, and while these procedures are vital to cross-contamination management, these procedures are nothing without well-educated employees on the front lines implementing them. Understanding and awareness of cross-contamination management procedures for all employees who prepare and serve food in your establishment is of paramount importance. Not just the procedures themselves, but also the reason behind them so that they are aware of the importance of cross-contamination management for the consumer. You should definitely spend time training your employees in these areas and also offer refresher sessions periodically to maintain knowledge levels as well as give opportunities to revise current procedures based on feedback from your employees and any potential changes to legislation in the future. This training is just as important for front of house employees as well as kitchen employees so that your customers can be correctly advised whether or not a menu item is suitable for them. Before preparing foods that are advertised as allergen free, employees should always wash their hands before preparation, even if they've recently washed their hands, in case they have been handling any allergens or are carrying any airborne particles. You could also consider the use of disposable nitrile gloves when preparing allergen free products in order to add a protective barrier between the employee preparing the food and the food that they are preparing. If you do implement the use of nitrile gloves, be sure to educate employees on the importance of regularly changing them to keep them contaminant free and maintain the protective barrier. Ensuring that your staff regularly clean the workstations and equipment in the preparation area will go a long way to reducing the risk of cross-contamination when preparing food. And there you go, managing cross-contamination in your food business is all about common sense, awareness and forward planning. 